Welcome to another episode of Mighty Car Mods, proudly supported by Just Car Insurance. Now there's nothing worse than coming back to your car and finding that it's been dented. Now there's a bunch of ways you can fix this. You can take it to a panel shop and get them to sort it out for you. You can use paintless dent removal, but there are other ways. Yeah, one of the simple ways that we tried recently in New Zealand was using a GoPro suction mount and putting that on there and sucking the dent out. But look, that is not always going to work. There are cheap ways you can do it and today we're going to show you how to fix dents on your car using bog. Now, nobody actually wants bog in their car, that is a fact. But, the thing is, if you get back to your car and there's a dent on it, it's like pouring a bowl of cereal and instead of cereal coming out, pubes come out. Nobody likes it, it's not cool. So, we're going to show you how to fix dents with bog and today we're working on the blue turd. Dude, what do you mean? The blue turd's fine. No, today we're fixing dents on the blue turd. Dude, there's no dents on the blue turd. <laughs> Today we're working on the blue turd. After having a cry over your dented panel, the next step is to get the dent as flat as possible. So first, jack up your car. If the panel is removable, it might be easy to work on it off the car. You can use a mallet or a hammer and dolly to beat the panel as flat as possible. You want to get it as close to the original shape as it used to be. Okay, so after kicking the shit out of Marty's car, uh, I'm now using my uh, angle grinder on it with a flappy disc on it, and we're gonna get rid of all the paint and the primer. We're going all the way back to bare metal. Flap disc can heat up the panel, causing it to warp even more, so go slowly and let the panel cool occasionally. An orbital sander is really useful with body repairs. So if you've got the kind of car that is worth a bajillion dollars, then obviously this kind of repair is not going to be the way to go. But if you took a dent like this to a shop, it may end up costing you half the price of your purchase of your car. Or the other solution is to just get another panel, but that's not full on DIY on the cheap 10 bucks worth of box. Yeah, I mean, you'd probably be able to get one of those panels, you reckon, for about 50 bucks, Marty? Yeah, if you, if you score really lucky, you might get the right colour. Yeah, yeah. But and actually going to a shop and getting to fix a dent like this properly, if you were like on a premium car like a Volkswagen or something, you'd, it'd be in the thousands of dollars, wouldn't it? Yeah, my hundreds for something expensive, for sure. Next, create some bog, or you can buy yourself some bog from the shop as well as some applicator cards. Okay, so this is bog theory, and that's a pretty massive dent. Um, got kicked pretty hard by our favourite moody person. Um, you need to get that as flat as possible. Bog is just to get the shape right. It's just, they call it skimming. You skim the bog off. That's a pretty serious dent. If you can get in there and behind it and make it as flat as possible, then you're going to make life a lot easier. Now, some get dents you can't get in there, so you can use a slide hammer to pull it out. It all gets kind of complicated. We're going to bog it, but we can't do it in one go. We're going to have to do it in layers. Now, if bog gets too hot and there's too much of it and it heats up as it cures, it can crack which is pointless. So you've got to do it in small layers. You've got to go back to metal so the bog can actually bite in chemically into the panel. And that's what we're going to do. And we actually have to do it quite quickly because once you actually mix the hardener and the bog, we've only got uh, like, you know, five or seven minutes. Is that right? To actually get it on there? That's right. So the next step is to mix up our bog and we'll show you how to do that now. Use a plastic mixing board and scoop out some of the cake, mi I mean, body filler. Then add some hardener at a ratio of around 50 to one. Too much hardener and it will go off too fast and too little and it won't dry properly. I get you filled up like a garbage truck. I see you on a Tuesday. Apply the body filler to the panel. Let it set and repeat. Obviously, the less bog, the better, both for longevity of the repair and less sanding it back off when you're working with it. Dude, this is an epic amount of bog, eh? It's like I think they call it, I think they call it baking a cake when you start. Like it looks like cake mix, dude. It's over bogging. Oh man. It's like when you've had a really big night out. This is the next day. Oh, like wow. on a car. I think the good thing is though that showing this means that anybody else is never gonna have to do something that big. Because you probably should just get a new panel if it looks like yeah, that. Yeah, if it's if it's this bad, but you know. Say, what if, what if you're somewhere, what if you're like in Antarctica and you can't go to a wreckers and there's no panels? Well, you wouldn't have a car down there. You'd have like one of those big ice breaking boats. What if your ice breaking boat had a dented panel? <laughs> and you need a new hull, I guess. Continue applying bog to the repair area. Right, so when you're working with bog, you've got to be really careful. It lets off a lot of fumes. You want to make sure you're in a well -vent ventilated area. So you, so you don't, oh. Oh, Marty. Marty. Marty.
Wow, that was trippy. Is, is it too big an area to bog officially, Martin? Well, yeah, there'd be people out there who will think it's, you know, not the right thing to do. And you know what? They're probably right, but we're going to do but it anyway. Martin, it's about, it, it's, it's about the technique, and it's also about the underlying principle of the repair, isn't it? That's really? exactly right. Once you've built up the low spots of the dent, it's time to sand the bog back and start to shape it to match the rest of the panel. You can use coarse sandpaper to quickly sand it down, then wipe off the dust. Okay, so when you run your hand from the paint, the bare metal to the bog, you shouldn't feel any difference in height. Now there'll be a bit of a change in texture, but we're gonna fix that with some spray putty, which will make it nice and smooth. Mask up the adjacent panels, then use your spray putty over the repaired area. Let it dry and then sand. I don't know if you noticed my awesome t-shirt today that Marty got me. It says supercar, sedan and wagon. And then down here it's got a picture of probably one of the worst cars ever made. And one of my first cars, the Holden Chimera. What a shit, I mean crap. Supercar. Uh, mine was Canary Yellow, 1984. Uh, I was driving along once Caddo Ridge Road towards Windsor, very windy road, went round a corner, back of the car started swinging out. Put my foot on the brake, it just flapped around like an old dong, it <laughs> didn't move at all. Lifted up the handbrake, it was just flapping around like just doing nothing. Uh, and uh, so I, I came around the corner and then had a choice of hitting a tree or a ditch. So I just ran into a ditch and my wheel was just sheared off. Gone. I just... No wheel. Three wheels. Three I'm wheel. driving along on three You're wheels. Line. And it was, You're you know, right. it, it was somewhere else. And I had to leave my car on the side of the road. And here's the crappiest bit about the story is that um, is they had to leave it because I was on my way somewhere and then later on I got a call so I pulled my mobile phone out this was 1996, it was an Alcatel and I'm like, hello? and someone says, are you missing a car? and I'm like, yeah, a Holden Camaro, how do you know? someone had smashed the window to steal the tape deck because they were worth a bit back then stole my other Pantera tape and then got my new business cards which were in the back and it wasn't like this Vista print, you're the 999th visitor, you get some free business cards. Back then, <laughs> business cards cost hundreds of dollars. They got my packets of business cards and just thrown them all over the road and just disappeared in the wind. And some old dude had walked along, picked one up and then rang me on my phone to let me know that there was a car with three wheels with smash windows, tape deck gone, base cannon gone, which was this big long tube that sat behind the back seats. I thought I was a boss with that. Uh, and business cards everywhere. If you're going to steal someone's stereo, why would you mess up their shit as well? Just take the stereo and leave. You don't get the business cards and throw them out on the road. Just terrible. I would call that a supercar. Holden Camira, one it, of the it's, worst it's on a, cars it's ever. On a disco floor as well. Look at it. Dude, go. it's amazing. And it's two tone. How See, this car um, finished its life uh, was um, I got a call from uh, Pendle Hill Police Station. Actually, I'm not going to tell you that story because it's it's a bad story. But yeah, it finished with police activity. The thing is with this panel repair, right, everything has to be smooth. As soon as it looks a little bit textured or feels a little bit textured or feels not quite right, it's going to show up on paint because the paint is so, so super thin that it just shows up every single imperfection. So that means going back, sanding, painting, sanding, painting, priming, doing it over and over again. The end result will be worth it. Everyone always goes on about it's all in the prep. It's true, even though painting's the fun bit, this is the important stuff. Continue to apply putty, dry and then sand until the repair is completely smooth and seamless with the area around it. So that is how to fix your car when your best mate kicks it with his stupid big fat foot. It's not that fat, I've actually got flat feet. When I was at school I had to wear those orthopedic things to lift the arches of my feet. Now here's the thing, if your car does have a big mad dent and you go and get it fixed, it might cost you $10,000 to fix it. Might not, might cost you a thousand bucks, but the thing is, if you can get it to this stage yourself at home, now you can either take your car to a paint shop, or if the panel is removable, you can take that to a paint shop, and a couple hundred bucks and your car's fixed, so that's a DIY win. Now if you don't want to do that, you can check out the next episode of Mighty Car Mods, where we teach you how to paint the panel that you just bogged on. Oh, have you bogged yet today? Yeah, mate, I did all morning. I bogged with you. That's awesome. Bogging together. That's right. Bogging together is it's better than bogging alone, isn't it? Absolutely. Someone should write a song.
How would the song go? Bogging together is better than bogging alone. Because when you bog alone, it's not the same unless you're on your phone. So many people on their phones when they bog, man. Really? So many people. Apparently oh, it's bad yes. for you. I read a it's thing that, um, you. don't that do it. Uh, iPhones are giving people hemorrhoids yeah. because they're sitting on their phone playing Angry Balls for like 20 for minutes. For so long. When it should and be then, like two minutes, where you go. Yeah, boom. This is educational. Yeah. He learning stuff, I'm learning I'm stuff. I'm learning stuff. Heaps. But you know what I'm going to do now? Tofu burgers. Oh. Let's go, man. Oh, that's with the tofu burgers. Dude, they're delicious. They're disgusting. I don't eat chicken anymore. They're so gross. Tofu burger. Oh. Not silken tofu, we'll do the proper fried crispy tofu. So gross, man. Delicious. Martin, when are we going to have a look at your new car? Never. Okay, next episode, maybe. Hey Moog, thanks for kicking the absolute shit out of my car. Maybe next time on Mighty Car Mods, we'll show people how to fix this. Yeah, awesome with lasers coming off.